in the last lecture we learned about host listener decorator so basically using host listener decorator we can listen to events on a host element and we can react to that event accordingly by executing some event handler function now we have another decorator called host binding and we use host binding decorator to bind a host element's property to the property of the directive or a component class let's try to understand this with an example so let me close these files here and what we are going to do is we are going to create a new directive so here we have the custom directives folder in there we want to create a new directive for that i'm going to open a new terminal actually let's delete this terminal we already have one terminal open let me clear that terminal here and in there we are in the custom directives folder and here we want to generate a directive so for that we can specify d d for directive and let's specify a name for this directive let's call this directive maybe app hover okay let's press enter so with this name a directive should be created inside this custom directives folder all right you can see that app hover directive has been created let me go ahead and let me delete the spec.ts file which has been created here and let's go to this app hover directive so in there the selector name is app app hover so i'll simply call it as app hover all right and the directive name is app hover directive now in there we have a constructor and what we want is on whichever html element or component we will use this selector we want to get a reference of that component or that html element inside this class for that inside this constructor i'm going to create a parameter i'll call it element you can name this parameter anything and here i want to get a reference of the html element on which we have used this selector so here the type is going to be element ref okay and in order to use this element ref we also need to import it from angular slash go then i also want angular to inject an instance of the renderer2 class for that i'm going to specify another parameter i'll call it renderer and it is going to be of type renderer2 and again in order to use this renderer2 class we need to import it from angular slash go and i also want to have a private property called element and renderer so what i will do is i'll use private keyword in front of these parameters so behind the scene for these parameters a private property will be created and it will be available throughout this app hover directive class all right now if i go to the web page and if i open the details of any one of these products you'll notice that here we have this button element so on this button element i want to use this app hover directive for that i'll copy the select of this directive and that button element is present inside the product detail component so let's open that component so in the container folder we have this product detail folder let's open product detail.html if i scroll to the bottom we have this button element okay we have this button element called notify me and we should also have this button add to cart so i'm going to use this directive on this button element so after this ng4 directive i'm going to use this app hover directive so now what will happen is since we have used this app hover directive on this button element now this button element is the host element and a reference of this host element will be passed and will be assigned to this element property now what we want to do is here inside this class we want to create a property and let's say i'll call this property name background color okay and it is going to be of type string and initially i'll assign it with the value let's say white all right now using the host binding decorator what we can do is we can bind this property of this directive class to a property of the dom element so for example 
first of all let me go ahead and let me use this host binding decorator on this property and in order to use this host binding we need to import it from angular slash co and now to this host binding decorator we can specify an argument and this argument should be a property of the dom object so when this button element will be rendered in the web page in the dom an object for this button element will be created and that object will have some properties so what we can do is we can bind those properties with the directive class property for example this button element it is going to have a style dot background property so here we can bind that style dot background property this s should be in lower case so every dom element will have the style property and on that style property we can set the background property and actually it should be background color okay so if i save the changes and if we go to the web page and if i open any one of these products if i scroll down you will see that we are not seeing that button element that's because we have set its background color to white and the text color is also white that's why we are not able to see it okay but if i set it to some other color maybe pink let's say let's go to the web page let's open this product again now you'll see that the background color of that button element has changed to pink so using this host binding we can bind the property of a dom element with the property of a directive or a component class okay now here i'm going to change it back to white all right and just like this style dot background color property we can bind any dom object property using this host binding let me go ahead and let me also add one more dom property here so I'm going to create a property called border okay and I'm going to decorate it with at host binding decorator and in here I want to bind style dot border property and this property of this directive class it is going to be of type string and for the border property let me go ahead and let me set it to maybe gray so for that I'm going to use this hexadecimal value to 8 to 8 to p i want it to be 2 pixel and solid okay and let's also set the color here so again let me copy this line and i also want to set style dot color property and inside this directive class i'm going to call that property as text color okay and here i'm going to set the text color to again gray so this hexadecimal is basically for the matte black color so if you save the changes if you go to the web page now let me open this product and if i scroll down you see this is how the button looks okay now initially i want this button to be black and the text to be white and i don't want any border at that time only after when we hover over this button element it should look something like this and when we move our mouse away from this button element then it should look how it was looking initially so for that what we are going to do is we are going to use host listener so i'm going to create an event handler function here i will call it on mouse enter okay you can name this event handler function anything and we need to decorate it with at host listener now in order to use this host listener we need to import it from angular slash go okay and here to this host listener we need to pass an argument and that argument should be the event name which this host listener should be listening to in this case it should be listening to mouse inter event and whenever this mouse inter event will happen we want to execute this logic okay so initially what i want is initially i want the background color to be matte black so for that I'll say 28282B. I don't want any border, so I will set the border here to none, and the text color should be white. Okay. And when the mouse enter event will happen, at that time I'm going to set this background color to white, 
for that i'll say this dot background color and let's set it to white in the same way let's also set the text color so let's say this dot text color equals matte black for that we can use hash 2828.2p and i also want to set the border so i can say this dot border equals i want the border color to be matte black so again i'll say hash 2828.2p i want it to be three pixel and i want it solid okay with this if we save the changes if you go back to the web page let me open one of the products let's scroll down so here we have our button now when i hover over this button the mouse enter event will happen and at that time the background color will change to white text color will change to matte black and the border also set to matte black but when i move my mouse away from this button it is not changing back that's because we have not written the logic for mouse out event so let's go back to vs code let me copy this line let's paste it here now here we are going to call this event handler method as on mouse out and here we want to handle mouse out event so on the host element whenever the mouse out event will happen this event handler function will be executed and in there i want to set the background color back to matte black so let me copy this hexadecimal code for that one okay i want to set the text color to white and i want to set the border to none let's save the changes let's go back to the web page let's open this product again so now when i hover over this button you see the background color is changing to white and it has a border and the text color is black when i remove my mouse again the background color has changed to matte black and text color is white and there is no border on this button okay so basically using this host binding we can bind the dom elements properties with the property of the component or the directive class this style dot background color this is the dom property and we are binding this property to the background color property of this directive class so whenever the value of this background color property of this directive class will change that change will reflect also in the dom property so this dom property is binded to this directive property and this is what we use host binding for we use host binding to bind the property of the dom object with the property of the directive class now on which dom element it is going to set these properties it is going to set these properties on the host element so in this case the host element is this button element so all these properties this style dot background this style dot border this style dot color all these properties will be set on this button element because this button is the host element so here we are binding the properties of this host element to the property of the directive class using this host binding and we use host listener to listen to the events on the host element so using this host listener we are listening to mouse enter event on this button element and we are also listening to mouse out event on this button element and whenever these two events are going to happen we are executing some logic so this is the difference between host binding and host listener using host binding we bind the host elements properties and using the host listener we listen to the events on the host element so the host binding decorator binds a host elements property to a property of a directive or a component class and we just saw that with an example so this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day